Today I'm introducing the German Color Illustrated Photo Journal, Signal. Signal was published bi-weekly and was meant specifically for audiences in allied, occupied, and neutral countries in 30 languages. A German edition was distributed in Switzerland, Axis countries, and German-occupied Europe, but it was never distributed in Germany itself. It was published from 1940 to 1945. The color photographs are beautiful, and today they are widely collected. The rare 1945 editions can cost upwards of $200. Here, we're looking at journal number five from 1944. When I look at an original like this, my mind wanders off in all kinds of historical tangents. On the cover, we see the infamous Belgian personality, Leon de Grel, who was the leader of the SS Brigade Wallonian. I could introduce him and the fascist collaborationist organization that he belonged to, or talk about the Wallonian Brigade's role in the Battle of the Korsun Czechasi Pocket, which took place in early 1944. But this is only the front cover of the journal, and I'd like to show a bit more. So what we'll do is peer down various rabbit holes that we can jump down in future productions. Sound good? Nach ihrem beispielhaften Einsatz im Raum von Cherkassi kehrte die SS Sturmbrigade Wallonien unter Führung ihres Kommandeurs, Ritterkreuzträger, SS Sturmbandführer Leon de Grel in die Heimat zurück. Here we see Leon de Grel and the Wallonian Brigade arriving back in Belgium after breaking out of the Cherkassi pocket. He's accompanied by SS Obergruppenführer Zepp Dietrich and they're presenting decorations to soldiers. This footage is from the Deschig Monitschau No. 26 from 1944 that has a runtime of 20 minutes and 46 seconds. One of the things you'll notice if you become a serious collector of World War II footage is that much of the material was shared among different news reel series. At first this is annoying as you end up with doubled material. Over time you'll realize that it's quite difficult to get good quality footage and that the best often come from more obscure series. To the serious collector, getting better quality material is just about as good as getting new material. Here in this first short text, it talks about a French captain who's part of the Waffen-SS Division Charlemagne. As the war progressed and the situation worsened for the Germans, their propaganda pushed the idea that all of Europe was in the same boat. That should the Soviets take over, that they would actually control all of Europe. I've got plenty of really good footage of the Charlemagne Division. If you're interested in seeing more of that, go ahead and comment in the section below and I'll see what I can do. Here's a sketch of an American bomber that's been made to look like a sarcophagus, uh, a coffin. It says, in fact, it's titled The Flying Coffin. It talks about the Anglo-American terror planes that are bombing the German population and says that of the 136 bombers that took part in the attack, the 124 of these so-called flying fortresses were shot down. Reich's Minister Goebbels says that maybe they should from now on be called the Flying Coffins. The sign reads, if you stir up dust you'll get one from above. As we see the trucks are camouflaged with tree branches and on the side of the road are wrecks showing the result of earlier air attacks. Being in fast moving and maneuverable vehicles was an advantage and someone was always scanning the sky for enemy planes. Whenever possible, moving around during the day was avoided and in certain instances, in fact, prohibited. This particular footage is from a Dutch language Ausland Tonwoche from 1944. 
On these pages we see four photographs of very serious looking soldiers. The article talks about how everybody is responsible for doing their part in this difficult time. And here it says this also includes you, you are involved. Here we have a wonderful color photograph of a training school for the Kriegsmarine, for the German Navy. And this is showing the location where they practice shooting torpedoes or learning how to fire the torpedoes. This is a good example of finding great quality footage from an obscure source. The original film is called Asa Tuase, or Aces, referring to flying aces, at sea. For years it wasn't possible to get a good quality version of this important film in the original German language. Luckily this 1943 Dutch version was located. The film has a runtime of 10 minutes and 3 seconds. The film shows the German Schnellboot or S-boats. They were fast, highly maneuverable and well armed with torpedoes. After 1943, having lost a majority of the Kriegsmarine's large surface vessels, they relied heavily on these smaller craft. They commonly went on offensive operations in the dark of night, harassing British vessels. More than 200 of them saw service during the war. And here we have another beautiful color photograph of a ski patrol. And it says that w even with the enemy's heavy attacks, the well-prepared defensive positions are able to hold the line. We're going to wrap up the first part of this presentation of the Signal Journal, showing a clip from a Wehrmacht training film, Lea film number 314 for training soldiers how to ski. The original has a runtime of 15 minutes and 12 seconds. If you like this material, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.